Good morning. Today, we're diving into a very simple VJ loop. Uh, I think it, per it works perfectly for techno just because of the ridges of the shapes. It really gives you a nice little like kind of vibe. If you're interested in that, let's just get right on into it. Let's talk about it. All right, first things first, press A, select everything, press X, delete everything. After that, make sure some of your default settings are on like ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections. Go ahead of preferences. Make sure that within your animation tab, your default interpolation is set to linear. Once you have all of that set up, we're ready to get it started. So what we're gonna do now is bring in a plane and we're gonna look at the top by holding down tilde you can see you'll get all these selections press tab now select the first two uh vertices press s and zero then after that right click merge vertices by distance cool press r x 90 that moves it 90 degrees in the x axis and then you're going to go ahead and Here's where things get a little more fun. Go to your modifier tab. Add the modifier. The modifier we're going to pick today is the wireframe tab. So within the wireframe, make sure you set boundary. Uh, you can up the thickness, do all that fun stuff. Really up to you. Me personally, I'm going to up mine just a little bit. Zero point. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. What a nice solid number, you know, I don't want anything crazy. After you do your wireframe, you're going to go over here to your bevel. And then you're going to go ahead and just clean up that bevel a little bit. Cool. I believe I'm going to play around with our solidify. Coming right back in. Made a mistake, not solidify, delete that. Our wireframe, we're just gonna up the thickness. We're gonna get punchy in here. I think about 0 0.3 looks good. So to recap, 0 0.3 bevel, 0 0.4, really up to you. After you have that set, we're gonna bring in an array. Now this is where it gets kind of fun. That's your Y, I believe, I don't know. It's your Z, and then I'll just make it one. And then you can go ahead and let's set this to any old number for right now. I'm gonna give it a bit of like a nice little offset. So 1.2 looks good. You know, it gives a little bit of space, a little bit of bleeding room, whatever. I'm gonna deal with the length soon. Um, let's go ahead and bring in a simple deform. Make sure that is set to twist on the Y axis, I believe, no, on the Z axis. You can see, we get something kind of fun, kind of crazy. Um, <clears throat> now, here's where it gets really, really interesting. And I think you might want to just quickly tap it, lock in here. Okay, so what we're going to do, you set your camera, set your viewport to the back. Bring in a camera. And what we're gonna do now, right about there is okay. Set your camera to go <clears throat> from zero. So you gotta like click and keyframe that zero on the Y axis to, you can make it about eight. Well, it looks like we're gonna make ours negative eight. We're gonna dibble with this. We may have it be 16, but I'm not too sure. And what you really want to pay attention to here is you want your array to essentially finish exactly where your camera finishes. So when you look in your camera, moon's going through. It's looking kind of interesting. <clears throat> I think that's okay for right now. So if everyone, if anyone's like looking at my stuff, it's 45 count. 
we'll dive in later if your shit doesn't like really loop but this is okay for right now uh, we're gonna bend ours a little bit about like 200 degrees and we're gonna bring in an empty plane axis and then you're gonna make that empty go all the way to where your animation is finishing so that should be negative eight right and then what you're gonna do go back to your plane set the mirror modifier Does the same sometimes. Mirror modifier, okay. Set your mirror modifier to mirror the object empty on the y axis. Now, what will happen here is your animation won't fully loop. And I, I just realized that. So, what you're going to want to do is after you have the mirror modifier, See things, it cleans up a lot of this stuff, but you're going to want to go ahead and set your camera. I like to view top, go to wireframe and just pay attention to how far it needs to actually go to finish this animation. So if we do, since we doubled up, it should be negative 16, right? And then you have that. Now, with that being done, if you bring in an array on top of what you just worked on on the Y oops I mean on the Z axis one then you just keep doubling it you'll see now you have an animation that's looping no one will be able to tell Okay. I'll be linking the project files in this one too. I think um, to help out anyone that gets stuck, I think it doesn't hurt to share that stuff. So once we have that set up, now we're going to play around with the materials and a lot of the lighting. So make sure you're in Eevee. Everything's good there. Then we're going to go ahead and just enter uh, material preview. And let's do a nice little horizontal split. And bring in our shader editor, select our plane, new. Let's go ahead and make sure on our world settings the strength is set to zero. Bring down the roughness quite a practically all the way, uh, just a little bit. Bring up the metallic. And then what you're gonna do, bring in some lights point lights that is specifically bring them down a little bit you want it to be in front of your camera what we're going to do is essentially we're going to be keyframing them and whatnot so let's bring in one set let's set it's like 50 watts uh 20 watts uh, 10 is okay actually bring another one set it down a little bit bring another one set it down a little bit further and what we can do here, bring in another one. And if you bring down the radius, they start to look a lot more just like individual. Oops, you just hit it. They start to look like more uh, individual lines. And you get this like nice, smaller kind of vibe. So start playing with some colors here. I'm just gonna do a really simple color palette of like, uh, let's do like a green. Green feels kind of nice. A light green there. Bring like a like a yellowish kind of like a bit of a, bit of a blue. Another green. Get darker down there. Give it that nice effect. Bit of some yellow. That darker one, I think we could probably change. 
And what you're going to do, I learned this very simple trick when it comes down to um, parenting stuff. Select all of this, drag, hold shift, then it parents it to your camera. And when you press it, you can now see the animation is kind of moving. Okay. Now, if you want to add some extra flair to it all, keyframe the radius. So let's just go ahead and go from the start, go to the bottom. Keyframe your radius and open it up a little bit. And then when you, when you play it back, you can see now the animation's a bit more like abstract. It's getting a lot more fun. Really going through, going through dimensions. Um, and let's play around with some color management, high contrast. And I think we pretty much have our animation here. Uh, I don't want to jump into compositing at this point. I think to keep these tutorials really simple, I think there's a lot that I need to just cut out. But yeah, so opted in for simplicity this time around. Didn't really fuck around with like compositing just to save you guys some time. If you want to see that stuff, feel free to check in some of my old tutorials. I'm going to come out with something that just focuses solely on that. Um, but yeah, give yourself a nice pat on the back. Today, showed up once again, did something creative. Uh, feel free to slap an overlay on top of this. Add some music, some techno, and you have your creation. So, peace out, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.